how do we that? start the episode on such a <laughs> depressing note? I okay, fine. Seriously. Okay, fine, 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 fine. Oh my I'll, goodness. Let's let's scrap that. Yeah, let's, let's start go. the pod. Introduce the pod. You're the only all one. Right, all right, all yes, right, all right, all yes. right. Let's start this yes. the right way, man. Yeah, yes. Podcast with no name. That's what's um up. we're in the building. We're Welcome back. to another episode. If you're watching this, definitely make sure that you subscribe right now before we get into it. My name yeah. is Ruby V. I'm DJ Zach the Incredible Vinyl Assassin. <laughs> And I'm Corinne Onyango. Yes, and sir. for dissing me last week, I had to change the, <laughs> the no. whole thing again. <laughs> Why? What, what happened? happened? Somebody the, said, my curtains look like they're not been ironed. Who irons <laughs> curtains? I have no... Wait. Yeah, you iron curtains. You do? Uh, you do iron curtains, but... I just take them shut to, up. <laughs> to be clean and that's it. I bring, once they get back into the house, I'm just hanging them up. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's like once every six months, you know, when, when you're washing them. Yeah. Who's looking at the curtains? Somebody was looking at the curtains. Like, Good for you. They need to be ironed. I was like, oh, shit. But like, okay, okay, okay. I'll change it. I'll find something to hang over there. So what's up, guys? Yeah, How was we your weekend? Yeah. Well, what was happening during the weekend? Mm. What did you do? N- nothing too crazy. Friday went out for the Giuliani show. Oh, shit. At the KICC. Yeah. It was pretty nice. It was cool. The performance was great. I just felt like uh, maybe for like 5K that the you know experience could have been more like maybe you wouldn't have to pay for drinks or food let me pick this up real quick okay it's, it's for so Giuliani sessions happened it was 5k a pop mm. for 100 people oh. KSCC rooftop yeah oh, really? yeah um well i'll say like the the setup was was incredible he had all the sound and you know like Giuliani is a crazy performer energy wise mm. but i i i felt like or i thought that the 5k would have been inclusive granted i didn't pay for the ticket obviously <laughs> but like <laughs> but i i i i honestly thought that um something like you know you would get in and have like maybe a okay. meal on the house oh. or a drink oh. but you still had to get those things while inside so like you know the experience wasn't as as crazy as I thought it would be, especially for a hundred people. Mm. I thought maybe like dinner would be served, and then you know the rooftop is hella cold, mm. so I thought they would barricade. Um, but yeah, he he did his thing. He performed. He tried to do another show mm. um, on Sunday, a family show from three to seven p.m. with a two k covered charge. But uh, I guess like he didn't get the numbers, mm. and that's the thing. I feel like people. People really like overestimate um like the influence of one tweet or something. Mm. I feel like with with Kenyan Kenyan consumerism, especially when it comes to events, you have to tell them way in advance so that someone has that at the back of their head mm. and then like give it a reasonable price or even if you're going to go crazy with it, it has to be, you yeah, know, something yeah. extra, something crazier, yeah. but like for the people around me who were there on Friday, guys had so much fun. They were like, yo, you know, guys were, were dying. Okay. Okay. Bonfest Mwangi was there also. Of course, he's um, the boys, right? Yeah, the, like, he was singing word for word. Uh, yeah, Giuliani actually has a new album out, you know, that I, okay. I think people don't know about. It's called Masterpiece. Mm. It was released at sometime earlier this year. So, yeah, that's what was okay. happening on Friday, chilling I'm curious, Saturday, though, Sunday. Is this crowd like a gospel crowd or are they just like young people who like you know yeah it's young people who like hip hop and like Giuliani mm. and and but it's not I a guess, gospel crowd no 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 not okay. necessarily cuz um yeah, there were drinks there guys were yeah. having fun guys were smoking also being like at the rooftop you know it's a turn up yeah so exactly for the turn up for the turn up i feel like if the experience would have been more than you know, you wouldn't think about maybe I've been standing for too long or it's too cold up here. Mm. You know, if there was something more to the ticket, then guys wouldn't would have been more willing to spend more time there. Mm. But like besides that, yeah, it was it was it was a great performance, especially with the backdrop of Nairobi City, mm. the lights. Like yeah, it was it was it was, nice. it was dope. Cool. Yeah, it was cool. I was in those. Me As usual, we said football. we said okay, skip yeah. the weekend the story. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and save the stories until you got something to say. Yeah, you yeah. know, just so leave it. Boring. Boring yeah. it. What did I do? Yeah. Actually, I was just I was chilling. I mean, I was out, but you know, oh, low key. You guys don't know. Ain't nobody like, not need to know like see. where I was. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it was it was a pretty chill 
chill weekend yeah. for me saturday and sunday just chilling resting nice ain't shit popping but yeah so much has happened in the week first of all let me just start with my baby usher is finally performing at the super bowl is that something like we're waiting for like let me tell you hell yeah i think people have actually been rallying for it okay. on social media like um the the past few months that i've been i've been watching my social those guys have been like yo Usher needs to to get the Super Bowl stage whatever whatever mm. um and he's also been going growing very rapidly there's been some some changes um with the distribution platforms and his naming his his following also has increased very rapidly in the past few months mm. and has been doing his thing and I'm very very excited you know like literally the reason I I got into entertainment was because of the hope of meeting Usher one day Wow. Like yeah, he fueled this whole thing so for when, me. Oh, hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. When did you discover Asha? Cuz When I was a kid. I mean, obviously when I was a kid. So yeah, what had happened? Let me tell you. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> he's not old as fuck. He's not Wait, hold. Asha is probably even <laughs> younger than you. Usher. <laughs> Asha is probably even younger than nah, you. I don't think so. I think he I is. I was watching I was watching uh, his, his 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 song when I was like What you know you know he started he started his first single out he's 44 really? still fine oh, as hell yeah, that's God good that's damn. the right page that's good he's so fine so listen what had happened let me tell you what happened when i was younger <laughs> right that was straight up and um what's his face Drew and Grace Salame were hosting Shaggy mm. and then I was like oh my god I had this huge crush on Usher so I guess like the only way I'm going to meet this nigga is if I get into entertainment then maybe he'll come into the country and I'll get to interview oh, him that makes and sense. and that's how I got into I just started pushing this shit and it's actually crazy because last last month or the month before that that I was in a meeting with people discussing like an Usher show in Kenya <laughs> and I was like holy shit this This might actually happen. Okay. So I'm happy that he's doing the Super Bowl. <laughs> he's you guys, I think he has hits for days. Laugh. It's so funny. <laughs> he has he has hits for days. He's an incredible performer. Yeah, the, the hits. Yeah, the longevity yeah. also is And incredible. And his performances are crazy. Like yeah. he does he does a lot. Yeah. Of late I've been seeing him with the skating thing is. Yeah, he's he's a fan of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And then I, of course Kiki Palmer is gonna have to come to the picture. What's up with that? Uh, I, I mean, that? they already did the the boyfriend song yeah. where Kiki was actually the main star. Uh, so I don't know. Basically, was telling the boyfriend to just sit down. He, the, the the song is actually I heard your boyfriend is looking for me. Shit. Tell him I'm not that hard to find. Oh, <laughs> and Kiki is the one who's actually singing. Oh. Yeah. It's Oh shit. It's he's such a troll but I love it. Yeah, I can I can't wait for that performance. Can't I know Chris Brown though. <laughs> nah, mean, please. Usher Usher fucking can't walked fuck that Chris could, could do whatever he's Chris doing Brown. right now. So Breezy. you can you can outshine the master. Could never. <laughs> I'm team Usher forever. I'm I'm hey. excited. I'm excited to see how that performance goes down. Okay. A lot of kids don't know, you know, the impact of Usher on R&B, pop culture, music. Mm. And this would be a school and I I honestly after Rihanna's performance last year, mm. I think this is like a huge step up. It's a good follow up. It, yeah. yeah. Cool. Mm. Yeah, it's it's great. I'm excited about that. Okay. But speaking of Chris Brown, should be since we're talking about him. Mm. I don't know about this Popeye's deal. <laughs> um so hold on. Let me Popeye's chicken. Yeah, he has a 2 million dollar lawsuit over unpaid Popeye's chicken. <laughs> Hold on. So he keeps ordering chicken in room. Um well, they gave him the loan mm. so that he could acquire a pair of Popeye's locations. Uh. Yeah. Oh. So, yeah, the apparently this this uh loan was actually given to a couple people including Chris Brown and The Dream mm. and it hasn't been been paid. So it's 2 million 140,000 and some change mm. um in unpaid principal and interest. Oh, yes. Shit. So Ooh. we're not sure if the That's dream okay. is also getting sued as well. Um okay. yeah, but Brown is being sued as a personal guarantor. The dream came into some money a couple months ago, right? How? Uh, I haven't heard shit about the dream. Like yeah, in in forever. Uh, maybe I'm confusing him. Who who used to go out with Melissa Ford? It's the dream. 
Is it? It's him. Okay. So came, so uh, came into some money a, a couple of uh, months ago. I think um I'm paid uh, royalties or some shit like that and it was in the hundreds of millions. So I think he can he can pay that. He can pay. It. He can pay. It's, it. it's, it's two him, mil. I'm thinking, yeah. Maybe, I, I had, don't know. I had Joe and uh, and the crew making fun of Melissa. Oh. Because, like, now your your ex has come into some money. How you feel about you that? Feel about <laughs> 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 On some, what's this other shorty? The, the other, the crazy one who was throwing drinks at people. I forget. Cody. The one who was lit on the podcast when she was being asked about her NFL boyfriend. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I forgot. Yes, yeah, that shorty. No, that, that yeah, one crazy. Yeah, that was so that's happened. Um, yeah, literally that is the story. As of the 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 lo- loan was given in 2018, mm. and they still haven't acquired it back. So Damn. yeah, they they're kind of waiting to see what's what's popping with that. Right. Moving on swiftly. Mm, what's happening? Talk um what else has happened um i know we talked we we had mentioned this mm. first of all before we even get into it can we just applaud kipchoge yeah. for the winning the berlin marathon five time <laughs> winner <laughs> <laughs> ba, 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 ba. for real for real for real that's that's incredible that's incredible <laughs> honestly mm, yeah. five times yeah. five times for a man his age yeah. That's crazy, and there's uh, literally like a street in Berlin that's named Kipchoge. Mm. Well, you know, in Kenya, we're just gonna name them Kenyatta Road and yeah. whatever. Tubman, like, yeah. you know, oh, <laughs> <laughs> the hell, Lagos Come Road. On. Come on, the one yeah. for this one, the one for Kenya is 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 interesting because either way you dice it, it's still gonna come back to that family. Because like even Uhuru Park, yeah, you can say Uhuru. Is freedom. Yeah. It was the day we were to have yeah. freedom. But somebody is going to be like, in the future, like hundreds of years from now, guys will be like, no, who was like the son of, <laughs> yeah. of the former president? Yeah. Yeah. So they will forget about the freedom part mm-hmm. and they will be like, Uhuru part. It's yeah. It belongs to Uhuru's. You, there and might I'm be some sure. truth to it. Come on, man. It's that family. I don't think, this, I don't think they named it because of like, Anything to do with like our freedom and shit. We're not obviously. Free. Come We're on, not free. Come on, yeah. yeah. So Uhuru, Uhuru Highway, Uhuru. Everything Uhuru. that that we know what's up. You we know what's the up. Dream. And 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 <laughs> they can't change it. They yeah. Yeah, you the can. Guys, actually, can. you can. They can actually. Because guys will be like, no, no, no. This is we're preserving history. Yeah, we're preserving history. No, Waiyaki Way wasn't always Waiyaki Way. It was like some white guy's name. Actually, right? yeah, they can, so change, they can it. change it. Just a couple yeah, of years. Yeah, but Waiyaki Way means what in Swahili? Nothing. I don't know. Uhuru Wai- means Wai- Waiyaki. Than, Waiyaki you know, is someone's Avenue. name. Yeah, yeah, it's someone's name. So but that's Uhuru what I'm means freedom. It used so to be there can be a camp that's co- oh yeah saying, yeah yeah yeah, no, yeah, this, yeah. Is, this has nothing to do with that family freedom. this is freedom oh, okay. and that family will be there like yeah we know so they yeah and that <laughs> that camp will probably yeah. come from their yeah, descendants like, it know. will be the same family yeah, we know. <laughs> <laughs> wow I'm sorry no huru still <laughs> nothing yeah nothing yet um what is happening um something else that's happening uh, Hollywood in- deal with Ababu. Yes. Uh, What's that about? <clears throat> Yo, you guys didn't research none of these topics. Why am I the one who has? Because I feel like it has to be interesting enough. I'm sorry. <laughs> like I think you, let's 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 just you know, calm down. It's still me. I think you know me, <laughs> right? I'm still Zach. Have I changed? Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. No. None of this shit that happens in this country that's <laughs> local, I give a fuck about. If it's not hip hop, if it doesn't have a rapper in it, have yeah, a agreed. black thought in it. We were just talking about like, this yes, though. This, really, this, it's this just is, so. Yeah, it's it's. Uh, some of these topics are really for the benefit of because next no, week no. they're going to be like, "How come you didn't say this?" Yeah, because right? yeah, basically it's just to cover ourselves. Yeah, like, we didn't talk about why. How come? Or that know? we weren't in the yeah. dark. But me, I just I have nothing to say about Babu uh, apart from him and uh, Aziad. And anything else that he does, I don't care. I think I want to know about a Hollywood deal, though. Uh, is it true? I don't know, Ruby. Let's we, yeah, we Ruby go to. She's, 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 we're, we're letting her do all the talk. Yeah, because to. I'm tired. <laughs> I mean, when when I posted this, you should have said we're not going to talk about ABC, mm-hmm. and then we move on because like we post these things in the group so that everyone can have the information. It sounds like it's juicy. Please, Ruby, <laughs> please tell us. Should I bring a laptop with? 
we no it's okay she's got the info she's please Ruby. The information oh, okay all right so let's skip over that but no, that i want to talk about a chick who was talking about nigerians being better than kenyan men oh yeah in bed everything else is mm. wait first so, of all the title questions. didn't say anything about in bed did no, you no, did no, you no, catch no, I, did, I didn't watch did it because like i'm I, that's yeah, that's the see, shit that i'm not see, about you see it's, it's, we are on the same boat yeah, she's like another, but here here's the thing she she was like uh kenyan men first of all yeah they're stingy i'll play that clip it's crazy i think that's accurate relax <laughs> <laughs> we're not stingy. We're not stingy. I think we, that's are, we don't have money. If I don't have for myself, <laughs> how am I? <laughs> then what are you doing then out here trying hollering? to get some box? The right? Dick. Leave it alone. The dick. For what? The dick. <laughs> Ain't she free? <laughs> Ain't she free? Come so, on. Hold on. Let me let me play this clip because it, it was funny. It was, but I wanted to ask you guys a uh, question before we even we even go into that. Have you guys ever dated a? Nigerian. Mm -mm. Actually, yeah, I have Nigerians haven't. more than Kenyans. Why not? Listen to her. There's a lot of things. Like, if I decide to say why I don't like Kenyan men, I don't even think I'll finish tonight. There's a lot of things. First, they're stingy. Kenyan men look alike. <laughs> they don't, like, really look that good. Like, you understand? I really emphasize on the word stingy. You understand? Like, Come on. a Kenyan man can never give you money. Like, he'd rather pay for it, but he can never give you money. And then they don't last yeah. in bed. They really don't last. It's minutes. I'm talking about hours in Nigerian guys. And Kenyan men, most of them, they have wives. So it's really hard to, like, roam around yes. with their plasma. Yes, girl. Or they're, like, wababas. I don't like that. I want to roam with my man. I want to... You understand what I'm saying? Um, a Kenyan guy cannot pay for your flights to yeah. go somewhere. He'll have to ask you 1,000 questions before he does that. So I don't like that. Actually, I prefer Nigerians more than Wait, Yeah, um, she, nothing. Has she, has she said a lie? No. No. West so African men are fact, so good looking. Right what? Now. Okay. Kenyan men are also very stingy. And she's got it's me facts. wound up because she's correct. <laughs> then they're not play, paying flights for nothing. Yeah. Why am I? <laughs> you you guys are going to make me look like a bad person over here right now. One. She said we we we. Why am I saying we? I'm not a Kenyan. I'm a <laughs> oh, now he's not a Kenyan. <laughs> <laughs> now he's not. Okay. <laughs> but the whole like paying flights. Where are you going? To Mombasa, to Kisumu, to, to Dar es Salaam, to, to Zanzibar. Are we going together? But if we're going to I mean, shy, yeah, we why know not? that there's an airstrip okay. there. So instead of us driving there uh -huh. or driving the coast, it's not like we're asking to go to Dubai, exactly. right? Exactly. Just pay for the flight. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Have have a nigga asking me to take the SGR when I know damn well but he can afford fun. the flight. He can afford. So okay, you take the flight and then I take the SGR. What? Okay, if he can you afford, got me then fucked that's, another, up. that's another thing. Like, he can afford. Also, all I'm yeah. saying is, like, we're all in the same First of all... She's, like, where she is, I'm where I am. Yeah. We're, like, you know... Yeah. She's she's not speaking like that about men who can afford it. Uh. You know she ain't fucking with no broke dudes. Shakila has been hey, shaking hey, her hey, ass on the down. internet. Wait, why are you attacking us? Wait, no, I'm just... Wait, relax. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying, like, we've been knowing what Shakila has been about since and the who first is time. She, she, by the way? Is she she's, yeah, she's like some shorty who was shaking ass during COVID times, and then so she said she she oh, messed around okay, with yeah. all these celebrities. I understand. Okay, now I understand. I get it. Okay, cool. cool. Yeah, I was, I was lost. I thought it was just like, you know, a regular chick. Like, you, know, you think she's on that platform because she's a regular chick? Come on, man. I'm just, you know, I, I, come you on, know, man. I need to learn these things. Like, you know, if you are a stripper, that's, I mean, I don't know she if she's ahead. a stripper. I didn't say stripper. I said she, she was shaking ass, ass on the ass internet. You're a fucking stripper. Don't even look that good. I'm sorry. First of all, so don't be out here. This is <laughs> so don't man. even look that good. She, she looks cute. Good. <laughs> anyway, as, <laughs> like I seem to. Huh? <laughs> I've seen two images, one like this one with the makeup, and the other one, they don't look like the same person. What the <laughs> no fuck you? Shut the fuck up. Person. Shut the fuck up. Why are you mad? Why are you mad? We, what's, saying what's Kenyan what? men, we're not, we, we don't look good. Fuck you mean? Well, compared to West African men. Fuck them niggas. Them niggas. She said they're all the same. They, they have big ass like. heads and... 
big it's big, true big, big, have you seen like this whole thing they're walking like gorillas now yeah that's a, that's, a, that's an internet trend for tiktok come on man no but basically okay so you're uh, mad because you've been included in the kenyan yeah, men but what I'm we're saying of, is as kenyan is women is that there's truth in what she's saying yeah, everything truth? she said was facts really yeah. everything she said i can't even argue okay that's but, why I just shut everything down. No, like, but I, there's no but, response. But, but I started by I listen. I started by asking you guys if you've gone out with any Nigerian. Yes. You said no. Got, well, there's. You said so dated. You say everything. Yeah, because everything. Dated as in been in a relationship versus no. going out. Those are two different things. No. Have you ever given the box to a Nigerian? Given the box. Listen. So that we can talk is about somebody. Because you're saying everything she says is correct. But if you haven't gone with a Nigerian guy, it's, then it's not everything. Well, you're, you, you understand what the, I'm saying? The, the only part of the, my experience from what she said that would be invalidated is like, I never fucked no Nigerian exactly. nigga. So it's not everything. I mean, so we're not she's saying about, that she's... more to it than come the money on, Zach. and the flight. So wait, is the last thing in bed part that's really gone? Yeah. No, really. Some that's of the it, one. yeah, some of it. <laughs> I mean... Like, minutes and hours nigga why do you need to fuck for an hour yeah maybe not <laughs> hours yeah we don't want hours what are you talking okay. about first of all she's Get young first of all she's young go and when to do no go <laughs> dig a hole somewhere <laughs> do some fucking for an hour yeah, I are agree. you crazy? Yeah. First of all, she's young. Okay. Get these seven she's minutes like, and shut <laughs> the fuck up. <laughs> I agree. The fuck is you talking about? Listen, I feel like when you're younger, you're allowed to say some shit like yeah. that, okay? Because anyway, like you're not tired. She? She's like, I'm maybe 23, 24, oh, okay, like okay, Azian's okay, age. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go mess with the Nigerians. Fuck the niggas. <laughs> Kenyans, we stand strong. Seven minutes of good. Go get you seven minutes from a Kenyan and relax. Go to the kitchen, <laughs> do some shit. <laughs> Damn. Well, okay, wait, listen. Yeah. Okay, fine. <laughs> Moving on to something actually mm. more serious. Okay, fine. There's That's a good. Kenyan um, musicians union oh, shit, yeah. ruling mm. that has been passed by the high court. Mm. This is, I think, being spearheaded by Crystal Asige, who's a, a senator. Mm. And basically what, what the, the court ruling said that the, the Registrar of Trade Unions is supposed to register Kenyan Musicians Union um, that is obviously going to protect musicians um, against harassment and then, you know, legal representation and all that stuff. Mm. Basic oh, and a minimum industry acceptable minimum wage. Um, yeah, so that's that's currently like you know, I, I think we're supposed to be signing petitions and whatever mm. so that we can actually get that into fruition. And it's it's a big move, I think it's something that you know is a step towards the, the right direction as far as my only thing is, mm -hmm. my only question is like, um. Is it like a parliament thingy? I mean, it's, 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 it's one of those things that somebody decided to form like MCA. The, the one for music, the musicians is called what, MCSK? MCSK? Yeah. Is that one of those? Um, I think this, and then this what's has... the difference? I think this has already been passed by the high court. I, do, I actually don't know what MCSK does, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Those, those are the ones that I really like. If it's anything like that... Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I know what, what they're advocating for... Mm. Um, is you know having one union that will represent all the all the musicians and also like um equip them with the knowledge and the skills mm -hmm. of whatever's mm -hmm. changing in the digital world because mm -hmm. crystal was like right now the musicians union in the uk is actually teaching artists mm -hmm. how they can how like ai affects copyright law mm -hmm. and stuff like that so yeah i think yeah. step in the right direction like, will she, hopefully it works she's the only person i see speaking in that in that chamber that Makes, Makes sense. sense, yeah. And everything she does, I, I didn't know anything about this uh, music thing she's doing. Yeah. But every time I see her talking about something, it's always for like, and it's something that she knows can work. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't know how, Ho how people like... I feel like um, maybe, why, why, don't, why don't you think people are taking her seriously? We're in Africa, still. And when yeah. the men... Are speaking and when women yeah, are speaking, it's, it's, different. it's totally different. They, Never they, mind they, a woman with a like, disability. Yeah, they, yeah, they could just be there listening to her, like yeah, yeah, yeah. And then as soon as the mics go, yeah, like, yeah they're like, shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah. 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 woman, yeah. disability, musician. It just doesn't. It's yeah. not a good story. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, for like for the, I guess for 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 the generation that's 
you know, in, I, I in, think our, in our parliament, in our... The younger guys yeah. who are now getting yeah, in. Yeah, it's the younger guys now who might have to, like, who spearhead push it. this whole yeah. thing. And then when these guys are completely out, then the younger guys can take over. Yeah, I think also, like, um, the what's it called the artists also on the ground if they know that this is something that they need and they're called upon to like show up for abc yeah. then people definitely have to be willing to show up for that stuff i feel like i'm over the i'm a keyboard warrior and i'll tweet <laughs> it and then you yeah. guys go and deal with it on the ground because yeah. that's what i think makes people no not take artists as seriously this is one thing i've never asked you guys because i don't think we've ever talked about it mm-hmm. the ai thing what do you guys think do you think it's a bad thing or is a good thing? Remember, like when the the AI Drake song came out, everyone was in, you know, yeah. panic mode. Like, yo, it's over. They're taking over. Are you guys as scared? I I, f- I feel like it has its its pros and cons. Yeah, yeah. like um, I've used AI for like a bunch of my proposals and stuff. You know, edit that shit out because they give you all the information and then you take out what you need and what you don't. Mm. Um, I think it's definitely been created as a tool to help, but as with everything man-made, um, <laughs> they're created to help, but then people will definitely abuse. Take advantage. Exactly. Yeah. But there are those who will use it in the correct way. Lupe Fiasco, shout out to Lupe. Lupe is the dude, man. What he do? He's like a super lyricist and everything, mm-hmm. but him and uh, his, his like joint forces, I think Google, Mm-hmm. Then they created an AI tool for music for for rappers, so it's you know the way like now guys use AI to write for them lyrics. Mm-hmm. This is an AI where you're not asking it to write lyrics; you're just asking it to help you where you you're stuck. Mm. So you're trying to do a scheme, mm-hmm. then you are using a word, but you need to know every like meaning that this this word might have mm-hmm. any other way you might flip okay it. so you throw it to the ai the ai gives you like a m- bunch of other words you can use instead of that or mm. other ways it's it's a nice thing yeah he was like there's even a video of him making a whole song using that ai thing uh. S- super dope yeah. so i'm i'm guessing you're for the ai yeah, I'm, I'm for it if yeah. you're going to use use it that way yeah yeah so in a so way, like, basically a thesaurus yeah We've been having that. <laughs> yeah, but who is going to be writing rhyme like, oh man, where's my thesaurus? <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> I actually think that you do. People do that. Yeah, yeah, for real. People do. That. I guess maybe this is like um, this is like the the, the advanced fingertips. cousin. Yeah, you it's on your fingertips. Sure. You can do anything with it. Like yeah. you know, you can use AI to write your music. You can use it to write your script. Yeah. You can use it to like generate. Literally, sometimes I even write. Um, generate budget for X total. And like it will be like, oh, so this is what you want to do. But like sound and equipment, roughly these dollars. And then transportation. Like they break down everything for you. Yeah. Like mine, like mine, I haven't paid for it for this month. So I don't know. But all my like titles and uh, descriptions for for this podcast, it's AI. Sorry. (laughs) I broke the fourth wall. (laughs) <laughs> Yo, I'm 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 here. Yeah. I'm here for AI for real. Yeah, when AI your brain is tired and shit, like that's the easiest yeah. way to just like. Cause also it has you know, there's advantages of like knowing. There's some things we don't know. We have to accept that there's some things we don't know. Yeah. And maybe somebody has done research on it, like mm-hmm. even if it's in the twenties or whatever. Mm-hmm. And all that stuff is on the internet. AI can find it for you, bring it closer, and then you you know take a look and see. What you can sure. use and what you can't use, yeah. But shout outs to Lupe. I think the one for Lupe is so far is what has like really, you know, captured my attention. Mm. All this other stuff like making songs to sound like Drake, Drake and all and this shit is Michael is Jackson, yeah. Michael, yeah. yeah and then Michael Jackson one was whack. Actually, like so speaking of, terrible. I just saw an interview um, with Prince. Mm. Prince Jackson, mm. like snippets of it, and they were talking about um, the. My, obviously Michael Jackson's kid. He has a kid called Prince. I thought there was like blanket and so pillow, there's two of them. there's Prince. Oh okay. Or maybe those were nicknames. Huh? <laughs> blanket and like pillow. Blankets and yeah, so <laughs> Prince was um he was talking about uh the whole Paris. Prince, Prince her name Paris. You said it. Her name was Paris. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. 
<laughs> How Listen, many kids did Michael have? He did not have kids. Those were not his. <laughs> Sorry. But Prince is out here writing for his father right. and saying, um, yeah, okay. his okay, his father then. <laughs> and then um obviously they were talking about uh the Prince Michael Jackson beef and he was he was like it was more just, you know, very friendly, more more I'm better than him type situation than, you know, any hatred. Mm-hmm. S- spoke about how Michael definitely talked about him being the greatest of all time. Mm-hmm. It was like your daddy was one of the best to ever do it. Some shit like that Uh um and he also spoke about ai because he was asked about you know um art people using ai to kind of duplicate the michael jackson voice Mm. and it was like it's impossible to duplicate an mj voice because it it has something in it that the system still hasn't figured out just Mm. yet so (laughs) yeah he Mm. said it's, it's gonna it's gonna be pretty difficult i mean there can only be one mj there, it, There's gonna be an AI MJ, but you're not gonna be it's, Jackson who was whooped. It's, mm-hmm. it's gonna be that one. Anyway, um, as far as that beef with Prince, there's a video online you can find it right now. I don't know if I, I I'll post it here, but there's a video online of um, James Brown performing. Mm-hmm. Then he's like, "Oh, Michael is in the building," and call Michael. Michael came, mm-hmm. uh, did whatever they did. I don't know if it was a they danced or whatever they did. But Mike whispered something in James Brown's ear, like, Prince is here as well. So, James Brown was like, yeah, Prince is here. Come on stage. Mm-hmm. So, when <laughs> Prince came to the stage, did whatever they had to do. Mm-hmm. But when, as he was leaving, there was like a pillar. There's something like a pillar. So, he thought he could hold on to the pillar and go to the other side. But it wasn't a permanent one. It oh was like no. just place. <laughs> so, so he fell in the crowd. Holy so shit. guys are saying that's where the beef started because he thought <laughs> that he had been planned. set up. Yeah, it was a set up. <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> he just saw guy anguka anguka with a pill. How and embarrassing! He was, he was shirtless by then. Oh my yeah, lord! Because I don't know where James Bond was performing. Where like it was so packed that. Um, Prince was in the building, but he was on top of his bouncer's shoulders, <laughs> 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 so you could see him. So Mike saw him and be like, "Yo, that's Prince!" Oh so Lord. they called him to come on stage. So oh the wow. bouncer came carrying him. He went to the stage <laughs> to perform. <laughs> then, w- as he is leaving, he just—that's so funny. Yeah, he, he went to that pillar and boom, he fell to the other that's side. That's so funny. Yeah. So oh that, yeah, that I would hold a grudge. <laughs> I'd hold a so from that time, they just it became a grudge. But yeah, anyway. All right, Steph Capella has a viral video. Mm, um, of Paola. Yeah, man. <laughs> um, he was mentioning names, yo. Yeah, he was. He you was saw the, it? Yeah, I saw it. Like, okay, they, yeah, he they he muted himself, he, but we know what's up. Yeah, because the way he muted, he it, was like royal. Was, yeah, royal radio. Radio. Uh, yeah, we just so come can, on. You, we can tell who he's talking about. <laughs> And he was like, these guys get payola. I don't know how... Somebody happened. actually asked me, like, you know, from our time there, if mm. this is a thing that actually happened. Um, and I was like, I don't know. Like, as far know. as my show was concerned, there was no money exchanged yeah, was- for anyone to get played on. And also, like, I know the whole steez of Homeboys Reader was discovering people, mm. um, breaking them out and all right. that shit. Nobody remember. had money. So, yeah, exactly. I remember vividly, mm-hmm. like, when we used to... There was... Of course, there was John. Mm-hmm. Then there was Duncan. Mm-hmm. That was me, right? Mm-hmm. So there was this Nigerian guys used to come. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this artist. I don't know if I should say their name. Please drop. No. Should I? Yes. Because no, that's too close. Listen. That's <laughs> no, too close. Listen, I mean, your mouth listen. Shut. If we got the juice, we got listen, the juice. This is what this is what used to happen. Those guys used to come, and I think in other radio stations, maybe they used to give payola. Yeah, so I think came, so. Yeah, so they came to Homeboys. John was in, I don't think, you know, he never used to want Actually, to say fuck it, I'm not no invested, to anyone. Right? But what? he couldn't. So he would throw yeah, it to. In fact, talk. Right? Why don't you drop it? Yeah. I think he would throw it to like, dunk, he would send the guy like, oh, listen, uh, if the song is good, Duncan will play. We'll play it, yeah. yeah. We don't, you know. Yeah, we, we don't do that yeah, over we don't here. Do that, yeah. right? So he would come to Duncan. 
So once it comes to that, Duncan would find a way to help at the <laughs> production studio. So I'm left here with a Nigerian guy trying to tell me stuff. I'm not, you know, like... You, you, that's not even what you like, fuck you with. Know, I'm like, f- fam, like, I don't even... I can't even tell if this song <laughs> if it's is good or, or not because I don't listen to this kind of music. So it's them. Yeah. Who, the guys who have sent you here, just wait for them. So yeah. now that time Nania Duncan has disappeared. Yeah. <laughs> John yeah. Out Duncan. of office. Oh yeah, but a lot of times artists will come the, with that in mind already. Yeah, they'll yeah, be like yeah, yeah. yeah. They'll just offer it to you. Yeah. So I think I can uh, those guys never used to want the money and didn't know how to say no yeah probably didn't want to tell them that the song sucks or yeah whatever. so yeah. they'll throw the whole beef to me i'm there as i listen to hardcore rap like this Chana, is, Chana. Hey, Chana. and the cooler gold <laughs> is not something i want to yo you know. are you are we saying that's i the swear to god that was the guy yo that was the guy when he was just starting but like that nigga has now he's, he's have, grown right now I have, he's i have a he got bangers. Sure if, I, if i dig into my collection i'll find the cd he gave me that's a crazy that ass story read. yeah because like right now that nigga is like popping and shit know. like but at the yo time, probably... so you've heard it here first like from wherever we were at because uh, you know there was that there conversation was about like... every every song you hear on the radio is paid for nah. it there's a time i think even um tim Rimboy had made such a statement yeah. on on twitter it the was like I... every song you hear on the radio is paid yeah. for it. and i was like damn was i sleeping yeah, on myself i'm telling you if that guy had paid for and given the runaround that he was given yeah i think he would have Beefed. Yeah, he would have black sent to this guy Duncan Zach Zachson. Oh, so I mean, he's it's in the not process of right? Yeah. That's like putting your song on on Google Ads, right? Yeah. Or YouTube Ads or yeah. whatever, right? Yeah. It's like putting your song yeah, there. Yeah. So effectively, it's an investment, but it's no guarantee it's going to pop off, it's right? No guarantee, but it's also illegal. It, that's what I was going to say. It's yeah. also not. It's, it's not a legal. It'll give you the spins though enough mm-hmm. to drum it into people's heads so that you'll be like, oh, this is a hype song at the club if it plays. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Indirectly, it puts money in your pocket. Well, well so like uh, definitely what Steph said about uh, your condition to like the shit that you like. Yeah. Um, you yeah, that's that's factual. Then somebody else um said the the real question here is if you would take that 10 million and actually take it to nigeria or whatever mm. and have them play your shit or would they have some restrictions and guidelines as to or oh, we first promote our shit because we know some of most of these countries are actually oh, very sure. territorial right yeah, nigeria yeah, yeah. tanzania yeah. south africa so it's like if you did the same thing or are we just the cheap ones are we just the ones who are like i mean you've okay, been telling we're gonna, me we can't pay for flights <laughs> nigga where are we getting 10 million to pay for a fucking song <laughs> That's right. Here. End of story. Let's just end this shit. Right? Oh my <laughs> god! Um, Shakila said it. I seconded. Did, 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 did. Okay. Yeah, I seconded the the motion. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So is she a musician as well? Mm, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. So don't your know. songs will never get played because. Oh you my know, god. We we are broke. We can't pay ten million to Nigeria. So so person. for I think the 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 Steph video ended with um, now because this has happened and this is the situation on the ground. Mm. What are we actually doing about pushing our own Kenyan music and you know on top of the ten million that has already been been um, poured into radio and TV mm. for you to hear this music on. Who is paying ten million for their songs to be played? First of radio? all, because this f- the inaccuracy not, in the figures. No, I'm just saying like. No one is listening, like, not no one. But I mean, it was a hypothetical, obviously. No. Yeah, but I'm just yeah. saying, like, radio is not the, you are not going to get the returns. Yeah. You understand? But listen, mm. the thing is, mm. if you're, if you're, for example, they're playing, um, let's just go with that example, Adekunle, right? Mm. They're playing him nonstop. Mm. It's okay, okay. Like, that song is playing, they mm. play another banger, he's released something, mm. he releases an album, he's dropping it here, mm. whatever, whatever. Like, the fans will automatic uh, automatically like start to demand for this artist yeah. to, mm. to perform we want to mm. see him we want to meet him can we do this can we do that mm. um i think yeah but whose fault is that now like it's is it the person playing it or the person no listening the to point it? is that there's power to to being on rotation to being constantly yes. drummed into at the at the yes in sub subconscious because yeah. like but when when i'm given the ox then i'm thinking about the one song that i heard that i think is a banger yeah Which even if you think it's not exactly it's familiar to you yeah mm. But it's like happening the, on on TikTok now, so yeah, exactly. So even if it's it's not radio, it's happening yeah. everywhere. Yeah, that's exactly my point. Yeah. So, so to so talk about radio now mm, is too late. Like too the late. horse has already left yeah. the stable. Yeah, TikTok is doing it now. That that guy for 
You wanna bamba? You wanna mm, chill with the big? Yes, he, that one song. That and he came, came here. Kenya. <laughs> he came, <laughs> and that wasn't his song. Yeah, it wasn't his song, yeah, right? It was, a, it was a remix. Yeah, he did a verse. On yeah, somebody. this should happen. So this should happen for real. We have to. <coughs> sorry, we have to blame ourselves as well. Like the 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 audience, the listeners. It's not just the guys programming mm. it, but even you for being programmed. So you like have to blame yourself for letting them program. You. At least now we have extra tools that people can use, you know, be so beyond sure. radio and TV. Like the TikTok right now, it's yeah. it's the one thing that it's it's blowing up. Like I'd be very surprised when I see like Kenyan viral videos on like a non speaking mm. a non English speaking account, you know, they mm. could be French mm. or whatever, but the stitch is Kenyan. Mm. And just it just shows you the power of social media. So right now instead of crying about oh my god, they're spending whatever, whatever <laughs> Yeah, how can we blow ourselves up away from yeah. traditional so media? Are you, are you are you shooting a, a yeah. step? Yeah, no, I'm like there's like what he said is valid, but yeah. like right now there's many other ways mm. to what what are they the many ways to kill a skin yeah attack. yeah that wait but after We're having our radio now? experience <laughs> with our radio experience we know that a majority of these songs just pop off because they pop off right? exactly doesn't matter how much money you pour into yeah. It. But that being said, also, we could go back to that whole AI conversation mm. where maybe it's just that it's too soon. Like, these, the rules have not even been made yet. Like, we're just discovering all the holes. Mm. So maybe just hold on to it. As a scientific tech community, just hold on to your little secret <laughs> until you work out all the kinks and then release it to the public. You know yeah. what I mean? Because yeah. it just seems like every day there's a reason for you to shut it down. Yeah. Now talking about music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. DJs need to go back to... to um, being the cool breaking, ones. yeah, like, like breaking right? music, putting yeah. you on that. But I feel like a lot of DJs have also stepped away from that. It's it's more because about like what's come viral. To, niggas come to the booth with phones. I have it on my phone. Can you play? I'm like niggas. Yeah, I, I mean records. the reason the reason you're all the way over there where I can't reach you is so that you can do your own exactly, DJ yeah. shit, right? Yeah. So by the, the time audience I'm, is always there with their phones, yo, listen. Yeah, you know, can you play this? Can you play me this? Yeah, you just be like, that's but also that's, that's not the have DJ's a god complex, right? There's They're a over here on a pedestal. They be like, no, no, you. But I'll they, but you. but they, they don't do that anymore. So <laughs> like, they they even stop being hot because like, you'd know if I wanted my record to blow, I know Zach is playing at ABC or they're doing, yeah. you know. So Zach is a person who needs to play my music. Yeah. But then Zach is not really paying attention to what whatever I'm doing. Mm. He's like also playing me the the shit that's trending on TikTok. Yeah. So I'm not really looking at Zach as, mm. you know, yeah. I have to look at now can my shit blow up on TikTok so that Zach can play it. Mm. Yeah. Instead of Zach being the one like, I have some hot shit that this you should blow. make blow up on TikTok. Yeah. yeah. I so agree. I think we need to go back to that. And speaking of DJs, um, all I do is win is an African pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is the hottest record of the century. Is it only an African in Africa? Thing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cause, Yo, cause, listen, cause, at this point. the time it came out, I, I doubt there's any club in the. It, yes, it plays, not but not as often in, as and it, it does. In its my, entirety. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, and they play that and then they play the remix. Mm. First of all, I saw I saw my um, radio friend DJ from Zimbabwe mm. saying, oh my God, I'm going to Harare. I'm going to count how many times I hear all I do is win tonight. And then I also saw uh, screenshots from Nadia Nakai just being like, yo guys, <laughs> there's more music than all I do is win. She's also campaigning for her own music. She's like, yo, I've been dropping some hot records. I have to keep fighting DJs to play it because all you want to do is play, all I do is win. Like, I'm tired of y'all. Yo, I don't know. It must be crack, whatever they put in that song. Because <laughs> even in Kenya, yeah. the night will go by and you'll be like, oh my God, I survived a hip hop night without that song dropping. And then the last DJ will be like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All I do is win, yeah, win, yeah. win, win, no matter. And then, that's the, and then you know this is what happens, right? Yo. So they will play. All I do is win, 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 no matter. Then, then <laughs> it stands there like you know. Yeah, you, you know what? You that. know what's about to go yeah, down. I did it. I did it. Then. Yo, yeah. we 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 definitely have to update our playlist as DJs because <laughs> at this point, if it's caught. <laughs> It's if collective. It's the whole continent, though, that's not a that's not a us thing. Yeah, there is like you're saying. There's crack in the that's, song. That's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. Like every <laughs> DJ needs to like just 
take that playlist with with all I do is win and just dump it and and figure out what new shit is popping off from their countries mm. so that they can play that instead. Let's play some Doja Cat. Ooh, she just dropped my her girl. new album. My girl, my give me girl. five Doja Cat songs. That's my girl. The give the me song, five Doja Cat song songs. I don't care about the other songs. I don't care about the the woman thingy. The other no, it's a song <laughs> called Rules. Please listen to Rules. 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 And this is old because it came out during the time when I was still at Homeboys. It's called Okay. Rules. This is how you know. Yeah. That. Cats. Ain't, ain't no. Yeah? The, the new album. The new album is called. Uh, Scarlet. CS yeah, Scarlet. And then. Okay. So. I personally, I don't know a lot of Doja Cat songs. Like, yeah. I know them when they pop up on TikTok, and I'll be like, you know, I'll, you know, jam a little bit. She said that she wanted to release an album with no features. Yeah. So it has 17 songs. Um, it was actually released, like, maybe two, three days ago. Yeah. She said she wanted to release an album with no features, like J. Cole kind of present an offering where um, people just listen to her on the album and focus on her mm. artistry and what she's bringing to the table, just like they do with J. Cole. Mm. Um, I don't know. When I saw that, I, I thought about that Korean statement, like, you just got to be J. Cole to do shit like that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the album is out. I think Absol has co-signed her, says um, she's one of us. Mm. And then he's like, the prophets, that is. <laughs> I didn't get into it too deep because I'm like, okay. But like Absol has co-signed, so I guess I'm going to be listening to this album. Yeah. See what's up I with it. I think people used to dismiss her a lot, like saying she's not a Doja. Rapper. Yeah, because I think maybe the songs that blew up from her, the songs that made her popular, I think that cow song. Moo. Moo, yeah. Mm -hmm. That one. Moo, well, the first some shit like The people that. who saw that could not believe that she's a rapper. Then yeah. afterwards, also, of course, she blew up. Oh, because of the costumes yeah, and the stuff. Costumes. It, yeah. But this chick can rap. But come on, man. Listen to this shit. Listen to this shit right here. We... Mm -hmm. Like, are you, you actually... You, are you going to put this in the episode? I, I'll put part of it. Okay. Because I don't... You know, monetization. But yeah. Move along. But I want you to list, listen to even the production. Uh, but the lyrics are so talking about? Yeah. yeah. Spend some money on my fuck you. I mean, that's it. I, <laughs> are you people selling? But that's been Ooh. the standard for like. Family. Where have you been? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. The beginning of time. Yeah. Like, this ain't new. <laughs> this ain't new. <laughs> this ain't no new shit. Come on, man. Yeah, anyway, so Doja said it's okay, so cool. Okay, I accept. I'll, oh, I'll stop paying oh for flights. Oh my god. As soon as the money comes in, I'm paying for flights. Where are we going? Cool. Yeah. Where are we going? <laughs> Speaking of um, new music, this is not new music, but um, it's definitely uh, legendary, something that we definitely have to talk about. Mm. Kenyan Norwegian based group Matata, mm. they have a track from their latest album called Not Today, and mm. it has been picked as the official soundtrack. For EA Sports uh, FC 24, mm. that's FIFA, mm. um, that's going to be dropping on the 29th of September. So it's it's them and KC who are the only East African. Okay, so I say KC and East African because he still claims his Kenyan heritage, mm. but like he's now living in the States. Um, same as like no, the Matata, they're still Kenyan, but they, they yeah, live they in Norway. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah, this is a big W. Other artists that are on the soundtrack are B Bass and J. Cole, mm. Major Lazer. Kendrick, uh, major league DJs from South Africa, and uh, Brenda Fassi. Yeah, just a, a bunch, a bunch of artists are on here, um, and it looks like it's gonna be, it's gonna be incredible. They're gonna be eating good. That's so Africa cool! Like yeah. that's everyone's dream, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Placing yeah. your song on a, on a soundtrack. But yeah, for a video game? Well, for a use, video game. Because the soundtrack to a movie, you can, you know, maybe you'll go through it like twice. Yeah. But like for a video game, you're still going you back always, to play, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. that's crazy. That's the dream. Yeah. Like, fuck a show. And you know they're not going to be muting that shit because they need to hear whatever is happening in this sport. So like, whether they like your shit or not, yeah. they're just going to have to listen to it. Yeah. So we're hoping like, you know, this definitely gives them, you know, some attention to their music and that's also what's nice. happening. Yeah. yeah. And obviously the bag, the bag has, yeah. Bag. Definitely been secured. Yeah. Um, uh, I feel like That's KC. So we were talking about this right before we started filming. Like we don't know 
I personally don't know. I couldn't tell you like three. Okay, three is even a stretch. Two? I couldn't tell you one <laughs> KC song, but I know he was on on a Kanye West album before he got pulled out. Um, he was also like working on something with Travis Scott. He's like been doing his thing. He did Rolling Loud Berlin. Um, I think he's currently working on his new project, and he's still shining, writing for Kenya. And I think I think we should also like you know find a way to embrace him and push him and support him or whatever. Mm. Um, we're always talking about Kenya to the world, Kenya to the world, but this is actually an artist who's taking Kenya to the world. Yeah. Um, side note, though. Yeah. Side note. They hate it when you say that. Uh can name three songs. There's been a meme running for the oh longest. Oh my god! Gun to your face. Name three Joe Biden songs. He <laughs> hates that shit. <laughs> Yo, somebody said that when he tried to come for Cardi and Megan. Yeah, with both, so yeah. artists <laughs> hate that shit. Gun to your face. Name three Joe songs. I yeah. mean, they hate that. Yeah, I'm just. <laughs> I mean, definitely. I feel like on my part, um, that's my. My being like a little disconnected with what the young kids are listening to these days, yeah. uh, but I I see on my timeline, you know, when he says Travis Scott did this, and I'll see Kenyans being like, "Oh my god, you shouldn't have done that," because mm. your verse was filed, the melodies or whatever. Travis was so, supposed to perform in Egypt at the pyramids. What happened? I ain't even heard that. <laughs> yeah, I, that never that never yeah, happened. He was supposed to do a show in the pyramids. They were that hooking was up the internet, the Wi-Fi, and everything. Getting sure the never extra happened. ten thousand camels and whatever. There's no Ubers over there. <laughs> <laughs> they were supposed to this do is that. what fuels the other countries. The yes, saying like you know, I saw um, a clip of of someone being like, "When I get kids, I'm gonna take them to Africa and and show them how lucky they are." Like, bro, look at these um, guys living in trees and stuff. Uh, yeah, they were like, oh, look at these guys living in trees. So, that, like, the comment section mm-hmm. were guys from all over Africa being like, oh, my God, I just tuned in for my for my, from my tree, bro. They're not watering it <laughs> enough, so it's not growing. Like, how I get Wi-Fi on my tree, guys? Like, anyone? <laughs> it, was, it was just so funny, but yeah. I, I, I can't believe, like, people are still brainwashed about what Africa really yeah. is and what it looks like. Yeah, but, but the, the one for Travis, I'm not shitting on it because of what Africa is like. It's just that <laughs> people should have seen that the, 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 what do you call it? The two cultures don't align. Mm-hmm. One culture is very preserved. Yeah, conservative versus... Conservative and versus... And racist. racist. <laughs> yeah, and racist versus... You coming yeah. to like, you know, do all that? Yeah. No, it wasn't going to happen. Even if like uh, Nike was going to pour all the money they wanted to pour, it was. It just wasn't nah, going to you happen. You can keep the Travis. I mean, it they went not, far enough. Yeah. It went far enough in like the in the planning that yeah. it should have just. They should have I actualized think, it. I think yeah, whoever, they signed it off a hundred times. No, I yeah. think whoever was planning it just knew like, ah, oh, it's Africa. All we have to do is just give them some money, and and it's going to be fine. Be fine. Nope. We done changed. Yo. Yep. Shit is different. different Shit is different right now. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Um, Ye is back in the news. Uh, Not really. Not really. Um, The Adidas CEO said that (laughs) Ye didn't really mean what he said. What do you What do you mean? Of course it didn't. didn't. Come on. Bleeding money right now. They would say anything to save their asses. To save that they got fucking Yeezys rotting in some warehouse somewhere they need to sell yeah <laughs> they would say anything mm-hmm. that nigga he doubled down he went on three different that's what i'm s- and yeah and said the same oh shit. when you, when you were saying of course he did i thought you you were saying like ye didn't mean what he said he this nigga it. knew what he was saying he yeah it. he, he did it. like he went to different like you know if you say it once mm-hmm. then you apologize we'll be like oh shit yeah but if you go <laughs> and even invite you the head of the, the Nazis somewhere, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, nah, come on. He meant everything. But yeah. Adidas know that they need to sell those Yeezys. Yeah. Have to play nice right now. Yeah, they have to play nice. They've it's lost even, too it, much money. It's not even about him signing a deal for like new shoes. If it's about deal, the shoes if, they already if have. If there's a deal for new shoes, it will be attached to the old ones. Like, these ones have to go first mm-hmm. before we give you anything else. And when we're g- giving you something else, you know, turn, turn down the, the talk. Stop getting head. Just a PR. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Going to Italy to get head in a boat. Like, nigga, you, you got a house. 
Yeah, Good listen. Enough, this is yeah. At, at this point, he's <laughs> he's barefoot. he's just he's like okay. Did I, you I, I stay I, with with the barefoot. I I I think Ye is always he knows exactly what he be doing. Yeah. I know for a fact that he, how he comes to Africa and just tries to tembe like barefoot. You go know he's the, the real jiggers. Watch how he lay out with Jay Z. You go back with Jay-Z. like proper jiggers. <laughs> but the, there's somebody who, who's but been he's doing that making for a statement for about years. shoes, right? Yeah. He's like the shoe god. Mm-hmm. And then here he's like, well, okay, you guys don't want me. Fuck a shoe. Maybe I'm maybe I'm gonna make a trend. <laughs> yep. No, no one is picking that one up. I'm sorry. I did that. No, for like, but he's from just the, that. from the time I was three years old. To like maybe fourteen. <laughs> yeah, you, that's no over. Shoes. That's over. That's over. Right now we're wearing shoes. <laughs> Kanye, I don't care what you. <laughs> Yo, um, a, um, a relationship that, okay, two relationships, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, the one relationship that I, I personally, first of all, every time I see celebrities getting together and whatever, I'm just like, uh, PR stunt. It's mm-hmm. not gonna work. It's not gonna happen. Mm-hmm. So even with the 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 Kanye and, and and Kim situation, I was just like, I mean, mm-hmm. we we knew it was gonna get here. Mm-hmm. Um, but there's one relationship I think that has been kind of going strong so far mm. um cardi b and offset mm-hmm. just celebrated the six years <laughs> together mm. which is which is quite crazy think because i i i think they are they are i mean after after offset did the whole cheating thing mm. and then he got forgiven mm. and then mm. um i think he went and missed cardi and then got maybe his shit together did you see him on uh Kaisanat's uh, life. Yeah, you I did. Him? Yes. I saw how happy he was. I did. That was a free man. <laughs> <laughs> that was somebody who left the house. <laughs> nah. He was like, Mama. Um, then, finally, I'm finally. Finally free. Oh, come he on. Was happy. I think he was just happy to like kick it with the boys and you know just be away from <laughs> daddy responsibilities Yo, for just his, a little bit. He brought his PlayStation. He brought his. He's a whole bag, bag like, yo, like <laughs> yeah. He was ready, but like it, it was beautiful to see them celebrate their thing. Two mm. kids together. Nice. I think, um, I think they genuinely like love each other. Honestly, mm. like away from all the industry bullshit, mm. and that's that's cute. How long it's going to last, I don't know. But you know what they say with everything: enjoy the present, enjoy the now. So well, it's, it's fine. Yeah, uh, yeah, someone who is not enjoying right now is Remy Ma. Oh my goodness! <coughs> yeah, I think the the rumors are True? it's over. Oh, with the, Pap. With Pap, yeah. Oh Finally God! Finally, she's been like crying, like asking, but we haven't seen any of that. Those are still rumors. There's this uh, Tasha K. I think Tasha K is on who's like pushing. Like, what's wrong with Tasha K? By the way, who who's Tasha K? She's like a podcaster. She's the one who was sued by Cardi. Oh right! Yeah, oh, she's the, the one who's pushing this whole <laughs> yeah, she, narrative. Yeah, like, she hasn't learned her lesson clearly. Yeah, she needs to get another. She she also cried, right? Yeah. When she was sued for millions, and she said uh, she was coming to Africa. Yeah, and and <laughs> actually, like she could, she can't even pay that shit because she was talking about like paying it in monthly installments and oh, stuff. Shit. Yeah, so like guys and were clowning her. Say? Um, I haven't. I don't think Cardi has said anything yeah. uh, towards that, but like I saw like a lot of people clowning. They're like, "Oh, so you can run your mouth, but you can't oh, deal with the consequences." Oh, she's back. She's back. Yeah, she's back running her mouth now. With with now oh Remy. No, she no with Remy. I think she just mentioned it because mm-hmm. I think. Uh, but now, she's beefing with Joe Biden. Over what? Uh, she did the uh, the Joe Biden podcast, mm-hmm. the interview, but Joe did not release that video. Uh, Joe did, uh, didn't post that video because he has a relationship with Cardi B. So she was Damn. pissed. Then why have her in the first place if no, you're not going to air he, it? He was going to air it. It's the timing thing. But I think Tasha wanted it to air immediately. Oh, okay. And Joe was like, nah. <laughs> but we okay. still have to edit a few things. Yeah. yeah. So she was like super pissed. Like she is pissed. So she decided to go to Adam 22's. Uh, podcast so, yeah. so she was ranting over there as well like she, she's always on some bullshit she can chill yeah she so can pop chill. and uh remy could be over we don't know if it's true but oh if it is then sorry 
Ah, we thought black, black love. love. Yeah, we were like, first yeah. of all, let me tell you. Um, after the whole Will Smith and and Jada situation, yeah, that, that was, was supposed to be like no, that was everyone was just like Will and Jada, Will and Jada. Um, after that, I was just like, just focus on yourself. Please. Tiana Taylor, and Tiana Iman. and Iman yep. have broken Are up. You guys also, this show called uh, The Shy. No. Ah, you need to watch it. The Shy? Yeah, The Shy. I think I watched like the first first season. Yeah, it is. The the writing has been shit, but there are some parts of it that I still like. Yeah. Yeah, and then Iman is there, like he's like a drug dealer. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Doesn't make sense, but is he good? He's good. He he can act. He's good. Oh, that nigga is is multi talented. He was on Dancing with the Stars as a ball player. Yeah. Did he win? Is a did he? I don't. I I don't know. But he got pretty far. That's mm-hmm. what, that's what I know. I don't know if he won, um, but yeah, congrats to I guess Cardi and and, and Offset, yeah. Nelly and Ashanti are back together, Ooh, which I'm just back. why? Yeah. I mean, they probably love each other. <clears throat> they miss each other. Come on, how many years when, has it listen, been? There has to be a balance, right? <sighs> there has to be a balance. So if mm-hmm. uh, if if uh, if uh, Remy. And Tiana are breaking up with theirs, Jeezy as well. Yeah, it has to be somebody bringing the happier side to, of things. And it has and to be Nelly and Nelly Ashanti. She looks good. She been looking good. Mm. She looked even better without Nelly. Uh-uh. Like a man is gonna cheat on right? you, treat you like shit, go and pedal around, like you know, slam that dick everywhere, and then after he's done hoeing around, he's like, okay, cool. Now I'm back so to my what senses. Were you I mean, um, yeah, it's like, oh, so what's up with you? Like, I'm back home, baby. What's up? Daddy's home. Come on, man. I just, uh, I don't know. At least is. the kids aren't like babies. At least they're grown up ass mm. kids, you know? But yeah. Anyway, that's Wait, they have kids? No. Nelly does. Oh, Nelly. Nelly has a yeah. whole reality show. Yeah. He had a whole wife, Miss Jackson. Now, apparently, now that doesn't matter anymore. He's now with Ashanti. Mm. Like, oh, we wanted to see what the industry is. See- like, nigga. Other people have to tell you that this woman is worth it? Come on, man. That, yeah. <laughs> like, it was like, oh, that? we had to take a step back and see what the industry was saying. Like, maybe we, we were lying to ourselves about being together or not. And just, ugh, over it. Oh, God, he must be crying in his <laughs> fucking news. Did you see him on Drink Champs? He yes. was crying. He was salty. He's not see. over that box. He was that so salty. Good. He was so salty. Because Ashanti even talked about it on... um. Angie Martinez uh, podcast mm. it was like Irv Gotti was the one who was like being delusional and shit because obviously he had a wife mm. and they were just messing around it wasn't even an official relationship mm. so Ashanti was like it, it, she, she couldn't even understand why he had to like you see you Yo, see he, niggas he, being sassy uh, not all type of niggas niggas him. being him, him sassy is him is different come on He's what we call bitch ass niggas like Ashanti even said she's received death threats yeah, because I think he's one of those guys for street niggas. Like, let it go, yeah. man. <laughs> let it go. Focus on yourself. But if he was that good, I want that whole thing back. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Ashanti, you yeah. know. Uh, black don't crack. Actually, like, more specifically, black women, yeah. black box. Yo. Yes, sir. Here for all of it. Speaking of uh, things that uh, have to do with love, mm. and box and all that. Mm. The Nairobi Hospital Finance. Yeah, I'm just reading. Was that a box or what was that about? You know what? Mm. I actually, um, I don't have the details of that story, to be honest. Mm. Um, I just saw uh, Miguna Miguna actually come into the rescue of this chick who is apparently a minor. Yeah. So, yo, I think we we need to get a little bit of context there because... And All I'm, right. For me, I'm I'm like, listen. Mm-hmm. If if you have CCTV outside, mm-hmm. most definitely there's CCTV inside. Yes. Right. Yes. Just get the footage. You can't. It's n- if you rarely have like a house that has CCTV outside, but not not inside. inside. So we need to find out what happened inside that house. Wait, annex though. Annex is that apartments? Or oh, is that annex apartments? In Kili- is that uh okay i have woodley to, uh, uh-huh yeah but specifically it says woodley annex are those is that just a the uh what you call it the compound uh, yes okay so it could be a house 
Because yeah. they're saying something about a back door, right? So it's yeah. not an apartment. It's, yeah. a, it's not a house. But yeah. if it's your own private house, unless you are a millionaire, mm -hmm. would you have CCTV facing inward? I think so. Like maybe to the kitchen door, mm. but not inside. I've seen, I've In your own a, private home? I've been to a couple of houses where like the living room, on the corner, yeah, you see like uh, yeah, like the room with the safe. You put yeah, you know. Yeah. But like, I don't know. I don't think that's that common. Anyway, yeah, so we we don't know what happened. Uh, people so he here. was okay. So the story is he was tabbed twenty five times. God damn. Um, and this and woman. There were two knives involved. Yeah, there were two knives involved that were left at the at the scene. Mm. Um, and. Yeah, there's a female suspect suspect who now was released from the CCTV cameras who is believed to be the one in the, in the, the middle. Mind. Yes. Okay. So now Miguna Miguna went and he was like, so what was this guy doing with a minor at his home before you released like, this information to the public and say that this is the, the murder mm. suspect or whatever, alleged, mm. right? Mm. Like, did you, did you try to find out if this guy was abusing her? Like, mm. if there was some dirty situation that was happening? Mm. Um, and I guess it's just a case that is currently ongoing. And I, I hate to say it, I hate to say it, but you know, that, the way our investigations go, yeah, yeah. it might it's just not, you know, yeah, yeah. I hope like they put in some like intelligent guys who can just you know not look for the low hanging fruit like oh shit there was two knives okay 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 then oh, yeah, yeah let's run with yeah. it these people are intelligent mm. it's just the way the system is like set up mm. all of them are smart these are educated people you just can't get that far with your legitimate case mm. i feel like um because it's a man involved they will probably try to do it if it was a woman mm. then it would have been like haha domestic violence you know yeah. one of those situations but you know the the patriarch is i think it might win there's still cases of like um like murder victims from years ago whose whatever cases still haven't been solved so mm. they probably will they might try but i guess we'll just have to wait and see how that goes down yeah and Damn. people like people are sick out Minor. here people are sick so out here two knives involved you know the scenarios can be very different like be maybe there was <coughs> somebody else who managed to escape there were two apparently there were two like other suspects mm. like some men who were involved in the case as well oh. maybe like the the shorty was the one who was like okay if it was like you know as miguna is talking about like she was a minor maybe she was the one who was like okay you did this to me i'm gonna show you how it goes down oh, type situation and then came with that's the how it's still yeah that's how it's looking oh shit okay Oh, shit. Neighbors said, but this is according to the star, so take it as you want. Neighbors said that they heard the two arrive on the arrive home on Thursday, September fourteenth. Play music until late. It was until the following day that they heard Mike go oh, uh, groaning for help. Yo, yeah. So I mean, if people saw two people enter and one person leaves, it's easy to jump to conclusions. Yeah. Of course, you know, investigations have to continue, but mm. yeah. 25 times though that must have been mm. yeah, that must have passion, come right? yeah it, it came from the heart for sure yeah she was like n only one person is walking away from this thing you know whoever did it they they wanted to make sure so yeah that's that's what's happening but some, they're also reporting news. that she opened the door right the neighbors came to be like they knocked on the door mm -hmm. to find out what was up and then she uh was like there's nothing to see here everything's cool right went back in to mm. sort whatever out. So basically, I don't know. They saw her. They looked at her in the face. They, saw, they spoke to one. They, they said there was one woman who was there, and mm -hmm. she's the one who left out the back door. Allegedly. Yeah. That's what the reports are saying. Yo. This, this, this thing of, of um, Kenyans or, like, women or men commissioning people to, to have the, the lovers executed is, is so... It's weird, it's strange, because like, uh, maybe like a month or so ago, they were talking about the, a slain principal from Morangan County, who I, I think the, the reason why the wife wanted him dead was because he was allegedly cheating on her. So he had, she had contracted two men to come to, to you know, do the thing with this guy um, and dispose the body and then... Yeah, if she's now in Langata for I think for like maybe thirty years cheating, or something. 
You can't just leave them. You know? Is, that's not an option anymore like Yeah, no. Bounce. I don't I don't think everyone <coughs> takes rejection the same way. Somebody else would be like, "Oh well, I mean, that's cool." And another person would be like, "Oh no, we're dying together." If I was that type of nigga, the number of time I've been rejected, y'all niggas be Yeah. yeah, it's making you stronger. Be, Don't be worry. Yeah. People on the daily out here, like yo, yo. Oh shit! I had a rough, like you know, yeah, couple, couple of years. You had a what? <laughs> a rough couple of years. Come if, if on. If I was, if I was the type to like have people killed, yeah, yeah, you just be, been like, be, yeah, be dead. Yo, <laughs> I don't think I would have. I would have. I, <laughs> the I things that I've been put through. Yeah. Nah, yeah, I'll be dead. Like, yeah, be dead. The, Dead. Okay, Dad. it was a long time ago. Not we're, we're not murdering people <laughs> on this <laughs> podcast. But like, if I had the 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 whatever the power and authority to have sicarios and whatever, mm. I'd only have people dropped if you fucked with my money. Mm. Only that's the only thing that stresses me out. Like <laughs> my means of bad. income. <laughs> like yo, fucking yeah, with I my mean, bag. A, that a I'll definitely partner, that yeah. Was an investment. So that's kind of messing with the, with the with the bag, right? I mean, that's the whole point. That's why it's even more irritating when I've been with you. I birthed your kids. You've taken my body. You've taken my youth. Yeah, <laughs> that's where twenty five. My best from. titty years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But like, I mean, in this situation, for for the <laughs> NHIF boss, we we don't know for the the situation with the with the slain principal. Mm. You know, well, I mean, I, I I'd see it. Jeez. If you if you invested everything and then this person just is like okay away. I'm done yeah please just walk, just away. walk away you can always start again yeah like, it's can not you that it's not that hard can you you can you can it's never too late <laughs> <laughs> can't have that image burned in my head forever just me looking over your dead body yeah. yo. Exactly. Yeah. That's why you're sending somebody to do the dirty work. <laughs> But I'll know. You know. It's one like, thing if you look at me in the eyes so that you know why we're here, right? You know why we're here. Listen, if 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 it happens and then they're like, "Madam, kujo angalio kama ni sawa." Yo, nigga. What? <laughs> Now I have to inspect and see. Okay, okay, they fucked you up oh, enough. Because no. <laughs> as and the boss, and honestly, and as the boss, you would have to be like, okay, okay. <laughs> Or if yeah. the, if it's torturing first and then killing them, you have to be like, no, Jesus. like cut off his left toe. Okay. Yo, I can't. All right. Listen. In case in th in the case of what we were talking about, of course, this is terrible. It's a tragedy. So you know, rest in peace to that. And I hope it comes to a proper end. Hopefully, these For investigations. Sure. Mm. At For least sure. while it's fresh, you know. Anyway, James, this uh, is Kenya. You know it ain't yeah. gonna happen. So let's. Well, she could jump that that that, that little fence, mm -hmm. electric fence. Yeah. But there's another fence that was built. That was like oh super yeah. Yeah. That was on some petty shit though. How petty do you have to be? This mm -hmm. man goes ahead and builds um, a five-story wall mm -hmm. because his neighbor put up. Um, I rent whatever that's five Apartment. stores up. Yeah. So he built it because of privacy. privacy. And everyone on social media was just like, I get it. I'll yeah. do the same thing. Yeah, Come I get on. It. I'm you waiting to hear the, the I'm waiting to hear the disgust because that's where it sounds yeah. like that, it's coming from. No, oh, it, no, it was it was more funny. It was like, Oh my god, this is a level of petty that Yeah, I mean like if I can afford it I would do the same thing because there are zones I think that that's it still comes back to like Nairobi City Council and, and yeah. the planning. I think there are zones where certain types of houses are not supposed to be built. Mm -hmm. Like somebody has like a, if it's a neighborhood where all the houses are like this low. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can't bring up a, a, an apartment b block just next to yeah. somebody's house. That's that's crazy. Like I see people doing it, but it's crazy. In other countries, they they won't let you do that. Yeah, you should have gone the legal route yeah. then. So if you do that, then I I also have the right to build a a fence. What about natural light, people? Who's light? That his light, light is already light, taken. like light getting into your house. Your house is cold as shit because now this whole area is barricaded. Like, come on, man. Yeah, but you. There's other things that's more important than privacy. What but are you doing outside so that you need a wall for? Maybe window. I was doing that baby boy frog jumping thingy. Oh, maybe with my wife. Do that shit outside. in the house no, now. No, it's my house. 
keyword my house yeah i, I felt like it was i felt like it was a bit unnecessary i mean like no, if you can afford it sure go ahead and no, do no, no. it let but me, like let me okay so let me is let me, it life and death no. No, no, no let me tell you what happens okay so it's kind of life and death nah. Nah, how can you go to your home and not feel like nah, you're in privacy? it wasn't like what was the death. point it wasn't this life is what and happens death. ruby mm-hmm. i'm not saying this is the case for them but this is what normally happens. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have a house, prime land, right? Mm-hmm. And then somebody has bought land over here. They're going to build apartment blocks. They try to convince you to sell this land. Mm-hmm. You refuse because, mm-hmm. you know. It's, this is my home. It's my home. Mm-hmm. So to teach you a lesson, they usually bring up like apartment blocks all around you. And have oh, you at the center okay. as a punishment for like refusing okay. to sell this shit. Uh, okay, so I guess if, if you go do that, then I also show you like, oh, I also when they go low, we go low. I, I got a couple of change. <laughs> I got a couple of dollars right here. You know what I mean? Like we can do this if you want to do this. We can do that. This. Is crazy. So I think it's one of those. It could be one of those situations. Children in Africa are dying, and you guys want to put yeah. up five story walls yeah so i think it could be one of i don't think somebody could just be like ah my privacy is it has nothing to do with privacy it's the, it's it's a situation where somebody is trying to irritate you to a point where you're like oh fuck it man i've been let's all I've do been it boxed in let me let me just sell this land yeah and then you're also like, that's oh, no, foul I'm not, selling it. I'm not selling it i'm just gonna block i'm just gonna i mean i in that context trust me yes would so would do know, yeah. would be as as petty as possible yeah. but like if it's just oh so now they put up an, an apartment block next to me and now i feel like i have to do the so, same thing yeah. to mm. yeah <laughs> it's not this it's not that serious but it was funny it was funny it was seeing funny people's reactions seeing, uh, people's reactions and then the the thread kept going with other places where people have done the same things. thing yeah. yeah somebody even actually had one that's like uh steel like metal iron sheets mm-hmm. <laughs> all the way up yeah, yeah. bruv yeah so that thread was funny niggas got money out here yeah, people have money we're the only broke ones you know i'm you like what is to pay for flights, <laughs> nigga. Uh, this shit is <laughs> vexing zach yeah, like, w- w- like zach just get your bag up Le- leave leave these people with trying, bags alone just they're not giving us a chance to like even get the money to where you can start you know for in order to get the money to where we can start paying for pl- flights mm-hmm. we have to get the money to work for us so the money yeah. has to be working absolutely so give us the chance Badala ya kuitisha fair sa zote hiyo fair kidogo kidogo tungekuwa tunatengeneza nayo pesa ya maana ile inaweza zalisha pesa nyingine yeah, so we can be sleeping while our money is working then that makes sense if i have to pay a flight mm-hmm. to uh, nakuru is there even a airstrip anyway in nakuru i think so okay um i don't know I like I'm I'm assuming because it's there a city. Be, yeah. And there's one in Kakamega now, so oh, somebody was saying uh Eldoret is being voted to be the fifth city or some shit. Is that I don't I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I was seeing something like that. I was like it's not a city yet? No. Okay. It was an Eldoret. Uh it's the, was, uh, right. yeah, and it's the home of champions, like home literally champions, every yeah. athlete Should be a city. comes from Yeah. from there. We should even make it the capital city. <laughs> so that the p- people live in Nairobi. Wait, I just need you niggas to leave. Can Let me tell somewhere? you, that's never going to happen. Why? I don't think it's... it's Okay. If you turn Eldoret into like the, a multi... So that's like the, the thing. Everyone is always focused on Nairobi as a city. Yeah. Even when Mombasa was, oh, it's the new city. No, no, no. Not, not too no much of... To to yeah, n- to I'm, unless you're going there for, for vacay. Yeah, like, it's no, too it's slow. Really Any, anybody trying to hustle in, like... Co- I would do it, though. Like, if it's, like, remotely, mm-hmm. whatever. Nairobi is exhausting and yeah, yeah. So yeah. normal. If they build Eldoret to the levels, you know, where people can actually... And but do you into the, the capital city knowing Everything knowing ourselves is that even a thing that would be possible though no. they, they they made mombasa a city they made nakuru no, a city by, not by naming them yeah. you see they made mombasa a city by naming it but nothing changed yeah nakuru is a city what's changed? Nothing changed exactly what i'm saying is you actually go there with a plan 
like we are transforming this to a metropolitan you know they ain't going to do that shit they, they would have gone to the other number exactly two, three, that's four, what i'm yeah. saying so like they would have already out. done it already so it's always good to start like where it's it's you know closer to the ground not where because the same thing i would be like nairobi they, you can't expand downwards because the planning was poor same thing go to a place where they haven't done anything hata kama ni machakos where they haven't done nothing then now you start from you know you have more you know they don't care about that shit yo yeah but anyway yo you're thinking like 10 years ahead yeah Ain't first of all <laughs> 10 years is too close too like far. literally yeah. it has yeah, to be like planning. the 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 kids who are in uni right now the ones who are supposed to like come and make those changes cuz you know the system is going to be the same for for a, a little bit I think I, I feel like by ten years I, ahead. I think I saw it's gonna a be kid being punished by teach like teachers are still beating kids. <laughs> I'm sure oh, they are. I'm sure. I'm sure. No, not with sticks. With what? So apparently, this the story. I saw it on uh, on on Twitter. You don't think kids being like are they're not being caned anymore? They're no, being that caned. Wasn't definitely. Caning. That wasn't caning. This kid was telling the teachers, I don't know if something had happened and the kid was like, let me call my mom. The teacher's like, fuck you. So he walked away. So they followed him. They're like four teachers. <laughs> then there's a kid filming. So these teachers are following this kid now. Like, hey, you're talking to us like this? Like, oh you know, no. they don't believe like he can a talk. A kid can like, do can, that. Yeah. So I think they took him to a room somewhere and just whooped his no. ass. Yeah. So I th- I think I saw it on Twitter. Oh yeah, I've seen something like that yeah. and people were talking about the experiences being whooped and shit. Yeah. That's so not even a whooping. This that's is not a, a whooping. That's this was a an attack. attack. This was an yeah. attack. <laughs> this was an attack. But anyway, yeah. It's life. It do be happening. It do happen. It's not right, mm-hmm. but like, you know. Yeah. Shit happens. S- so many unright things. Mm. Should we wrap this? Yeah. Yeah, I think we should. Yeah, we've, we have, we've discussed a whole, whole lot. The stuff that we haven't discussed, we'll discuss we'll, next week. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> yeah. So we're What else are we Let me see. It's not much. You guys didn't talk about Takaja Super Cup. That's all that's left, I think. Oh, Sakaja Super Cup. Um, I don't know what that is about, but uh Sakaja is doing too much. I think th- you remember last time you were saying uh, the way he was voted to you the the worst the worst uh yeah. I think he's trying to he's trying to get his uh, numbers up by doing all this cuz this tournament even if you make it like 10 mil one team wins the 10 mil then what? Yeah. yeah. After that what? But happens? this is 3 mil. <laughs> Okay, so it's three mil. After <laughs> after that, what happens? What yeah, happens? Exactly. And it's a team. It's a football team. Yeah, it's a, it's a whole team. team. Yeah, eleven players. Yeah, not and even and everybody else. Yeah, because it's usually eleven players on the field, but you need at least uh, extras. Ex like Subs. another eleven yeah, people. Yeah, another eleven, and then of course there's the management, officials, the officials, the yeah. the venues and things mm-hmm. like those. After that, it's somebody dust. will walk away with like 20k. Yeah, and and then, wait. As, assuming he's taking care of all the logistics, and then the 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 three M is just for the team and still, okay. like unless it's something you're telling me is going to be happening on a consistently, regular, consistently, which means you have to this three mil. You're doing it as um, proof of concept. Mm-hmm. Right? So if it can work. For the next tournament now you tell guys okay so we're holding the same kind of tournament we're hoping people will come through for free but we'll, there'll be food provided you can buy food so that money that's being used to buy the food be collected and becomes now a way to pay these players yeah. then it becomes like a regular thing now you can you can it self sustaining yeah. or something like that but you can't tell me like uh, the city council is going to give 3 mil once every three months for that a team to win. That, uh, I don't know. Anyway, if you know more than I do, because I didn't look through it, I was just looking for the funny shit, guys. Like, Wh- where shit. where is the funny f- shit? Just one f- three mil, nigga, is funny <laughs> for eleven for twelve twenty one players. Oh, here's one. Thames is uh, pregnant by future. Oh, um, it was a rumor. It was a rumor, and she came out and told guys, "Yeah, nigga, is crazy." But I guess that's yeah. what you would say though, right? Yeah, for sure. Because people saw the baby bump. I didn't see the bump. I didn't even read past the so headline. So it's either a bump or she's fat. 
So Thames, tell us which one would you prefer? <laughs> because <laughs> listen, or to have a baby? It's allowed the African woman's body <laughs> is supposed to be voluptuous, okay, succulent, <laughs> juicy. I wasn't complaining. I'm just yeah, saying. imagine it's just a regular day and somebody's calling you pregnant. She's bloated <laughs> on that day, and then she was getting a period. Do you know sometimes when you're on your period, like how your stomach yeah, yeah, actually yeah, yeah, swells yeah, yeah, and yeah, shit? Yeah, 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 no, I'm yeah, saying on, like yeah. maybe that's what had happened, okay, and then everyone is like, This is why you're going through it with women. This is why you're going through it with but for context it could happen it's a a a thing that yeah it's a thing that happens so maybe that was just you know one of those days and then everyone is like futures baby but but if it's a chick who has spotted it don't you think chicks have uh better what can i pregnancy dark yeah they they don't look at the stomach usually they look at your facial features because your facial features start to spread Oh. Yeah, like you get a little wider in the face. Oh, and the hips as well. Your boobs get yeah. bigger. Come um, blow. Yeah. yeah, but like Tem's been like that for a minute, so oh, I don't. She's thick. Yeah, Ooh, she been like she, that. Woo. <laughs> so we can't talk about a period, woo. but we can talk about Tem's being thick. <laughs> the double girl, standard, girl, is <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> get used to it. I mean, yo. Fine, no, we're listen, done. Tem said she's not pregnant she's with, not. with Future's baby. Yeah. That's what she said. But then that's what they be saying. And then when the baby actually comes out, welcome to the to the world, Future Junior. Yeah. And like, fuck up some comments. <laughs> what was that? You, you fuck up some comments. You fuck up some comments. Yeah. But <laughs> hopefully she isn't. They, they're also saying um, Halle Bailey is also pregnant right now. Oh, shit. Yeah. They're saying the Little Mermaid now has a little one she's so young i can't believe yeah. she's yeah. having sex don't don't but don't, like don't. <laughs> yeah it's a, damn and she's a little mermaid like, yeah she's the stop, little mermaid but like there's still rumors she hasn't said anything but obviously all the women on social media are like look at that nose we can tell we can tell so but seriously let's like let's okay well, some serious shit though yeah like if thames had a baby with future on some serious shit because like, this ain't even <laughs> serious. <laughs> Imagine that kid trying to speak. Yeah. Like future. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Actually, no, you know no, what? No, yeah. <laughs> future. I thought you know when we interviewed a te- when we interviewed Thames, I thought that maybe she just wasn't having a, like a great time. So I was trying to force issues a little bit, like mm-hmm. trying to overly be happy just to like get her. That's just the. Yeah, she's. Mm. But I had to know that because I didn't know that at the time, mm. you know, because she she wasn't uh, wait for you type, yeah vibe. But yeah, she's just like that. Maybe maybe now she's expanded a little bit. She's been on like hella 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 mad interviews, and mm. she's learning how to open up PR training. Also, well, is a well, thing well, that well. happens. I don't think so. so what was the award where she was called to the stage and then she was like, "Oh, that's my name," and then she was like, "Oh, no one else getting up," and then she sat back down. Mm. No? no, I remember. Um, I, I, I remember. I remember that, that people were mad at her when she was in an award show wearing a big ass. I don't know what the fuck that was. Yeah, and you guys are like, like, "Oh, we couldn't she, see." Yeah, people could not see the stage. Oh, like Nigeria. <laughs> no, like she. Like she it, no, it was um. One of these whatever her dress thing. had, yeah, it had like like the white. Uh, uh, like wait, I can't remember what award prince. show it was, but like it was just this white guy being like, "Oh, great!" And then everyone was like, "Shut your white ass up!" Right? Like, don't nobody give a fuck about you, nigga. Yeah. The dress was great. Like, it was actually was a very like great dress. Thing the Queen of England would wear or some shit like. Oh, Really That's how you make a statement. If you if you if you can't everyone if you can't see shit. behind me, then be around me, nigga. Yeah. Anybody <laughs> asking you to sit behind me? Yeah, I'm sorry. Thames. <laughs> I love that chick. Though. Yeah. yeah, she's doing her thing. She's yeah. really like blown up and stuff, and good and future. good for her. Like maybe she did. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> this has been the podcast with no name. Make sure to like, subscribe, and listen out for the next episode. It. I'm going to get Yo. you. Yo. I swear, for the next episode, I'm going to get you. Ruby, I will get you. I swear. Yo, I'm make sure you subscribe. Subscribe, because the next episode, I'm getting her. I'm shooting at you. I swear. I gave you one chance. <laughs> subscribe. Um, yeah, make sure that you share this podcast also. We're trying to get you know more people, more eyes on the on the channel. 
for your weekly worldwide commentaries on mm. on whatever is happening and popping off in the whole wide world. Yeah. Um, yeah, check me out on social media at Just Ruby V. Um, get you some merch. I'm wearing something. This is from the old collection. Mm. This is the uncut logo, so you can you can get that if you want it from the old collection. And uh, peace. Peace out.